I once had an employee who had 10 employees, a supervisor with 10 employees working for him. He, he came to me and said, Stu, there's no way I could hit the goal of the goal of your ass to Besides which, I have two people who are killing me. I'm spending all my time trying to get these people to turn around. In fact, in his particular team, it was so bad that, that people were taking sides. And tell me if this sounds familiar. Those two people were spending most, every time he said something, they would be writing down what he was saying. Yeah. They were at the computer, they, they were at the Xerox machine, photocopying everything he was saying. Everybody on the team was listening to their issues for the choosing of sides. So I said, I said, Kevin, I can't promise you that I'll be able to replace those two people. But what I can promise you is if you replace them, I will try. As long as they're there, you're not, there's no way you're going to replace them. I worked with Kevin. Several months later, we removed both those employees. He was now down to eight people. With those eight people, he had every goal in the team. And so that comes down to a very important math question. What's 10 minus 2? 11. 11. Never forget the principle of addition by subtraction. Once he got rid of those two people, several things happened within the team. No one was, people were no longer focusing on their, those two issues. These two people were gone. The supervisor did no, no longer have to put devote all his energy to these two people. All of a sudden, you went from a completely disconnected, discombobulated team to a cohesive team. What, what, did the me what was the message that the people took from Kevin, the remaining eight people? No nonsense. We're here to do the job. If you screw up, we're going to take action. So, so what I was telling you oftentimes is when you have a bad person, you're in much better, you're, you're in much better shape to replace that person and to get rid of that person and not replace them to keep them there. So always start if you have a problem, addition by subtraction. I am telling you, in my career, every time we remove the poor employer, whether we replace them or not, we wind up being better. 